Hello and welcome to the Family Caregiver Navigator Project, um, a program from the Idaho Caregivers Alliance that aims to prevent and reduce burnout for Idaho's caregivers. I'd like to give you a very brief overview and invite you to schedule a longer presentation for your professional network or community organization so we can tell you more about the Family Caregiver Navigator Project. Um, as I said, it's a program from the Idaho Caregiver Alliance, and we are a two-year pilot project funded by Medicaid to provide a service to caregivers across the lifespan. We are serving Southwest Idaho at this time due to the limitations of our funding, but we hope to go statewide in 2022. The Family Caregiver Navigator program is a free service to anyone who qualifies, which means that you need to be an adult, 18 years or older in Southwest Idaho, who cares for somebody with a physical, intellectual, cognitive, or mental health condition. Um, this is a very broad definition. You do not need to be qualified for Medicaid to enroll. Um, and really, it's um, a very open eligibility process, which means that we are able to serve a lot of people who may not even identify as caregivers. Um, a part of our goal is to help people identify as caregivers. And that's where some of our community professionals and partners come in. So the Family Caregiver Navigator Project is a high touch telephone support and re resource referral strategy process. You can think of it as an options counseling uh, service for caregivers. And we use an evidence-based assessment tool to look at their burnout factors and then make a list of recommendations for areas of focus and local resources that can help. The goals of this project from the Idaho Caregiver Alliance perspective are to help people identify and accept and engage in their role as caregiver so that they can have a sustainable plan. To contribute to an integrated network of services for Idahoans, build systems with our partners that are rooted in human-centered design and person-centered philosophy. And our goal um, as a project, but also our funding goal, is to keep Idahoans healthy and living in their homes as long as possible, enhancing quality of life in order to cut down on the use of crisis services and long-term care facilities. So we know that research shows that by supporting caregivers, we also support the patients. So who are caregivers? In America, AARP says there are 53 million caregivers in America, and that 24% of them are caring for more than one person. Um, so that means that nearly one in five people are providing unpaid care to an adult with health or functional needs. This translates to a huge amount of unpaid labor that's happening in our workforce, and the more we can support these caregivers, the more that they won't become a patient, and the more supported the patient will be. So we consider this a two for one. Um, in our longer presentation, we give some insight into who are caregivers today. We have a number of personas that help people think outside the box of what a caregiver is. A caregiver could be a first time parent taking care of a child with disabilities. It could be an adult child taking care of their parents. It could be a person taking care of their spouse. It could be someone who checks on their neighbor regularly. Again, our definition is pretty broad and our goal is to help people see caregivers everywhere and that they aren't just you know, older than 65 or they're not always female. We know now that 40% of caregivers are male and that they're becoming younger and younger as our population ages. So um, part of the goal of the longer presentation is to really help people identify who caregivers are in their community because we don't always see them. Um, and the work that they're doing. This gives a very brief overview into the caregiver navigator model. A caregiver comes through our door through a referral from a professional or they can simply call and refer themselves. Um, we have a referral form on the for providers and professionals section of our website that allows you to submit an easy referral form um, and that will trigger two outbound calls to the caregiver. Once the caregiver and the navigator are in touch, the navigator will conduct an in-depth evidence-based assessment that looks at their stress factors and then generates a list of recommendations and resources that they might want to connect with. The navigator will work with the person on this action plan to make sure that the caregiver is invested in the plan and wants to follow up on the recommended resources. At that point, the caregiver will be connected with the resources hopefully through a warm referral handoff process or through di direct connecting with our service provider uh, partners. 
This is just a quick example of the type of results that will be generated from the assessment. Um, we look at stress burden, objective burden for the actual resource and time and uh, energy needed for, to complete tasks. We look at the changing nature of their relationship. We look at identity discrepancy, which um, looks at their acceptance of their role as a caregiver. And of course, we look at depression and as well as their intentions to place their loved one or care recipient into an institution. Um, part of our goal is to delay institutionalization for the caregiver's uh, care recipient. And in fact, in the state of Washington, this program, um, a similar program that was run, uh, concluded that participating in the program delayed institutionalized placement for up to 21 months by participating in this program. So we know that reducing caregiver stress has big results for the caregiver as well as the person they're caring for. We are very excited about this project and we will be accepting calls um, 8 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, but we invite you to email us at info at caregivernavigator.org to schedule a presentation um, for your community organization so we can tell you more about how we are supporting caregivers in Idaho um, and therefore keeping Idahoans happy and healthy in their homes for as long as possible. Thanks for listening.